In this video, I'm going to show you how you can export your GA4 data into Microsoft Excel. Let's dive in. Welcome to the channel, my name is Leon. This channel exists to help you make better decisions in your daily work using your analytics data. If you like what I'm doing, please click the like and subscribe buttons down below. That would really help me get this video out to as many people as I can. Also, if you wanna watch more videos, there's a link in the video description to a playlist full of videos just like this. All right, today we're gonna export our GA4 data into Microsoft Excel, so let's dive into GA4. So I'm logged into GA4. There are basically two ways where you can export your data. You can export your data from a regular report or you can export your data from a, an exploration report. So let's go into a regular report first. I'm going into acquisition, traffic acquisition, and then usually I would go into session source medium to see all the available traffic sources on my site. And from here, let's say I wanna export this data into Microsoft Excel. Well, what I can do here is I can click the top right corner, click share this report. And there are basically two options here, share link or download a file. Well, we wanna download a file. And then you can choose between PDF or CSV. We're gonna download a CSV file. That will download the CSV file into your downloads folder. I'm gonna bring it into my desktop right here. So this is the CSV file right here that I can export in a minute into Microsoft Excel. But first let's go into an exploration report as well. Before I recorded this video, I already put together a small traffic sources report. Let's say I wanna export this report into Excel. Well, there's a similar functionality at the top right corner here as well. So I can click export data and I'm gonna export to CSV here. So that will bring it into my downloads folder also. Well, from the downloads folder, I'm gonna bring it into the desktop. So I have two CSV files. The first one is from the regular traffic sources report. And the second one is from my exploration report that I put together. All right, how can we bring this data into Microsoft Excel? So I've opened up Excel and I have a blank worksheet right here. First of all, note that I'm on Mac. So the steps that I'm gonna take might be a little bit different if you're on a different operating system. Also, I tried to do this on the online version of Excel, but importing CSV files is not possible over there at the moment of uh, recording this video. So you have to install Excel in order to import your CSV files from GA4. Another thing to consider is that the way the numbers are written are different across the world. So if you're in the United States, or United Kingdom, I believe, numbers are written like this. So 1500.50 would be written like this. But here in the Netherlands, where I'm located, this exact number will be written like this. So it's the other way around. So the export of your GA4 data is written in this notation, but your Excel worksheet might be in this notation depending on where you're located. And um, that might cause some troubles when importing. So I'm just gonna talk you through the steps, how you would do this. So I have my export over here. Let's say I wanna export this uh, first file. I'm going into data. And then in the first knob, I'm gonna press this arrow down and I'm gonna import from text. And then I can say, I wanna import this uh, file right here. So I'm gonna say get data. And then there's an import wizard that lets me import my data. So this first default setting is fine. I need to say comma it's because it's a CSV file. It's a comma separated. Next. And then here, this is important, especially if you're not from the United States or United Kingdom. I'm going to click advanced. My decimal separator needs to be a dot and my thousand separator needs to be a comma. This is really important. Otherwise your file import will not work. And I'm going to press OK. I'm going to click finish. I want to have this in the existing sheet, so I'm gonna press import. And now all my data is imported into this worksheet. And one last thing I would do here is I could take, for instance, the engagement rate, select this column, go into format cells, and say this is a percentage. Okay, so now I have this in percentages. The workflow for the second CSV file is exactly the same, so let's do it one more time. I'm opening a new sheet, I'm going in under data. I'm importing from text. This time I'm gonna importing the second column. The first step of the wizard is uh, fine by default, but I need to say I want to separate by comma. And here also under advanced, I'm gonna say the decimal separator is a dot, thousand separator is a comma, okay? And uh, I'm gonna click finish and I'm gonna click import. And this 
uh, imports the data from my exploration report. All right, that's it for today. Very short video, but I hope it was clear. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe buttons. That would really help me get this channel off the ground and get my videos out to as many people as I can. I hope you'll have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.